Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and Borsog Trader. If you're new, welcome and welcome back KS family and the Borsog clan. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently down 2.11% to 20,942. Ethereum down 3.13% to 1204. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. What we've just done together is a quick route run through the crypto market. It's really important to understand how crypto sectors are moving on a daily basis. Over time, you'll see a lot of different patterns play out and that's what you're looking for. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the masterclass, the tax software I use, and you can always directly message me on Twitter at any time. I'd like to let you know I've released a new Borsog Trader video. It's how I made 22% profit in less than a day as Bitcoin was selling off on TRB. I hope you find it useful. I have many, 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 many more of these trade videos coming. As crypto technical analysts, we scientifically track investor attention, which is measured through price, which is reality, not future promises. The first thing we do is to mark up our charts with the CTKS method. Then we look outside the crypto market like a really good detective, collecting probabilities, letting the charts speak to us in the language of the market. And then we look back into the crypto space finding the crypto market's focus and knowing opportunities reset daily and enhancing our pattern recognition. And then before we buy or sell, we have a professional mindset. We seek to combat self-doubt and self-sabotage, two really big enemies of any investor or trader. So keeping a positive mental outlook is really, really important. But of course, you gain experience through what you do. So that's why I started the Borsog trading channel so that you could scale up slowly. It also gives you an appreciation of the different things that you can do with trading. Basically, I'll trade through any particular crypto and we have a very, very short holding period when it actually comes to Borsog trades. We can see the crypto market has hit a bit of a red patch. Why could this be? If we look at the VIX, the fear gauge of the market, the major stock market, the US market, we can see that we've had a little bit of a kick up in the VIX futures. What about the NASDAQ 100 futures? What are we actually seeing here? We've had a huge rally into resistance. And what have we actually done? We've got above that resistance. It's coming back in for a retest. If this line holds, that is fantastic for crypto. Why do I say that? You say, Ken, how do you know? What's the, what's the relationship here? Okay, they're like really good mates. They hang out with each other and they really like to party and they can <laughs> get drunk together and go down hard as well. So what you see, this blue line is Bitcoin's price action. I call it Bitcoin's gravity. This is the NASDAQ 100. You can see as the NASDAQ 100 is coming up, Bitcoin is coming up. As it sells off, Bitcoin is selling off. As it comes up, you get the idea. So if we actually maintain positive price momentum in the NASDAQ 100, we would expect Bitcoin to rally. Now, does that always hold? No, not always. We have to be really flexible, but it's a really good probability that we stack. We can see bond prices and bond yields starting to normalize. They're still in their respective uptrend and downtrend. We also saw something really interesting in the gold futures. Look at gold. It absolutely shot up, then sold down. It was trying to get through this resistance line and the sellers said, uh-uh, no, you don't go, go down there. And it's just slightly 
below resistance but it's a really interesting thing there could be some geopolitical events on the radar at the moment just keep your eyes open and when we look at the dxy we can see the dxy is still continuing to sell down having a look at oil oil is staging the first start of a repair now just keep this in mind this is very very early days but it looks like oil is either going to come up or go sideways that's the majority of the probability but of course with with any particular financial market they can do whatever they want to do so we can only stack probabilities but i would suggest we get some buying at, we are getting buying activity in here and we're seeing the start of a change in trend it doesn't mean it's confirmed yet but we're seeing the start of it let's have a look at the put call ratio and this measures basic optimism inside the market very much like the VIX does. We can see the negative sentiment coming out of the market and we can see the junk bonds. Junk bonds, this yellow line, they're starting to come up. That's basically a risk on behavior. This tends to be a really good indicator of what is actually happening with the NASDAQ and you can apply that into Bitcoin as well. You just want to stack these probabilities as much as you can. How is the crypto market doing? Well, we know that no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. And what I've got here are the options, expiration, max pain prices, day in and day out. We can see the options market has been throwing basically a pretty standard signal that things are going sideways. Bitcoin does not always follow max pain, but what these numbers are, are the changes in the max pain value. Yesterday, we saw Max Payne at 21,000. It went up to 21,500 just up here. And tomorrow's Max Payne is 21,500 as well. This is giving some signal that the options market is expecting horizontal or flat movement. Of course, we can always understand that this is not necessarily the case. Bitcoin does what Bitcoin does and cryptos do what they do. It's a very, very volatile market. It wasn't just a couple of days ago where the max pain price was 29,000 and it fell. Just here, it was 29,000 and fell down to 21,000. So people were expecting a huge monster rally, but they didn't get it. And this is the thing that you need to keep in mind with max pain. It's a guide, but it's not a rule. What are we actually seeing with Bitcoin's price momentum at the moment? We've got a lot of horizontal consolidation. We've had a really good run up here. And what we've seen is Bitcoin consolidating around this 21,231 level. That's a pretty key level. If we lose that, I would expect us to come down, to be magnetized down to around 19,668. And that's not going to necessarily happen overnight. Price is always moving in a wave. Now that's the bearish or the negative sentiment. And negative sentiment is not a problem to us. We love negative sentiment because if it comes down, especially if it comes down sharply, it will tend to bounce sharply. So that's no issue when it comes to Borsog trading. But the concept is, if it comes down, we've got a lot of support around that 19668 level. If we lose the 19668 level, we have potentially a lot of downward pressure on Bitcoin. So we want to make sure that we actually hold that. But what if it goes just flat? Because we always make three dimensional decisions. If it goes flat, that's not much to deal with because it's just doing what it's been doing for the past couple of days. But what happens if it rallies up? The next level of resistance is 22,647. As traders, we keep our mind open continuously and keep on planning this three dimensional decision making, not just with a specific trade, but your entire portfolio. The other thing to take note of, these shaded areas. And Masterclass students, you get my live chart in TG34. These shaded areas are Saturday and Sunday. So we're just coming out of the weekend. Looking now at the longs and the shorts, the longs are saying, whoa, I'm getting a little bit perturbed here. I'm getting out. And the shorts are saying, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. Hang on a second, I'm going to come back in. So let's check out the liquidations. Looking at 24-hour liquidations, we can see 148 
million in liquidations across nearly 63,000 positions across the past 24 hours. About 54% of total liquidations were long liquidations. What about the past 12 hours? About 55% long. What about the past 4 hours? About 60% long. The longs are getting hammered. What about the past hour? Whack! 91% long. Ooh, the longs are hurting. So let's have a look at how this is all playing in. What we can see, long versus short liquidations. Longs are marginally more than the short liquidations. And the day before, it was the other way around. The day before, there were more shorts than longs. The shorts and longs exist in a symbiotic relationship, although it certainly doesn't feel like that at times. But the concept is that the longs heat things up. They say, they're the party animals. They say, I want to party. Let's get this fire burning and what did the what did the shorts do they can they're the ice bucket holders they say longs take this cold ice water and chill out man so what we can see is basically the shorts are splashing the longs with ice cold water and calming things down when looking at the crypto fear and greed index we can see it's currently 14 now it's been 14 throughout Bitcoin's history at different times and this is absolutely coincided with major sell-off levels but these sell-offs have soon rebounded does that mean that we're going to rebound well quite possibly but always make your three-way decision what if it doesn't mean that what would you do and what if it does mean that what would you do this is really really important to have in your mind all the time don't just hold on to one position. Re be really, really open. That's what professionals do all the In yesterday's video, we talked about the two paths of choice. Everybody gets disappointments and setbacks and problems. The earth can open up underneath people from time to time, and that happens to everyone. We've got two ways of moving forward. This is the two paths of choice. We can look forward to create strength and happiness, or we can get weakened and engage more in suffering. And it's really difficult to walk down this green path because it requires a different way of thinking. It requires a counterintuitive way of thinking. When we get a disappointment, it's easy to lash out at other people and look for someone to blame. But when we have positive excellence and we maintain real wealth foundations, such as kindness, inner and outer peace, gratitude, happiness, these things don't permit us to actually lose our inner peace or our outer peace. And that's where we find happiness. I talk a lot about inner peace and outer peace because everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants fulfillment and meaning. There's a definite way to get there and it all starts with kindness. Kindness to yourselves and then it will just flow out into kindness towards others. If you're new to our community, I can hear you say, Ken, what are you talking about all this stuff for? I just want to know when to buy and sell. I want to know what's happening. Absolutely. That's really, really fair. But the concept is before we buy and sell, we must master our co emotional control. If we reach out and blame, if we walk down that red path, what basically happens is that we lose the lossen. Oh, Lawson, don't you mean lesson, Ken? As a beloved community member pointed out, it's a lesson. The loss has a lesson in it. How incredibly brilliant is that? So we want to look at these lessons all the time to get the lesson out of the loss. I think it's just a brilliant, brilliant concept. So for example, it's just always you and the market. And if you think about the market, it's impersonal. It doesn't know you. And because it doesn't know you, it can't care for you. It can't sit down and listen to your story. It doesn't know anything about you and it never will. If you th things don't go your way, if you don't get what you want and you get a problem or a disappointment and a setback, you can get angry. That's normal. You can look for someone to blame and you can get this whole bitterness conflict, jealousy, resentment, weakness, suffering. You can go down that path and a lot of people do when they first start. That's really, really natural. But what we do inside our community is we focus on positive excellence and real wealth. We look for the lesson inside the loss. All losses have lessons. They're lessons. 
<laughs> I think that's just brilliant. And we know when we do better, we can, when we know better, we can do better. So the next time we'll fix it, it it'll be better next time because the world wants us to succeed. We look at the world as a kind place and you can find every bit of evidence to support the world as a kind place or world as an unkind place. But what gives you more meaning, more happiness, more fulfillment to look at the world as a kind place? When you don't blame, you empower yourself because you're using learning and analysis and trying to determine a strategy, how to do better, in the next time. This is a win-win scenario. And you can just say, everything that happens to me is for, for my benefit. And that is a wonderful, wonderful way to live. Of course, your self-worth will go up. Your image will be positively reinforced. You will say, I can do this. I'm so grateful for getting that loss in. And then you can create kindness and love. This strengthens you and ultimately leads to your happiness. That is what it's all about. The reason that I discussed this, it's quite hard to walk that green path and very, very simple to walk the red path. In fact, the brainstem, our primal programming, makes us walk the red path. And when we do, we don't, we actually weaken ourselves. We think the problem's outside of our control. It's inside of your control, but it rests with you learning the lesson from the loss. The lesson. Let's have a look at the major cryptos. We can see Bitcoin just sort of hovering around that support. It's just trying to figure out where it's going. And what do we see with Ethereum? Ethereum has more strength. This is where we do our pattern recognition. We can see Ethereum's price bounding up relative to Bitcoin's quite flat. Ethereum is above this area. What about Binance Coin? Binance Coin stronger than Bitcoin. XRP did an absolute rally and then is just digesting. It had a big meal and it needs to sit and let it just chill out for a while. Look at ADA, ADA is consolidating as well. You can see some degree of consolidation occurring across these alts. What about Solana? It's bounding up. Oh, the new Solana phone, fantastic. And look at Doge, Doge is going for it. The dog has bolted out the gate. And what about Dot? Dot is saying, oh, I'm a little bit tired. I'll just come back and rest a bit. We talked a little bit about support and resistance in the last video. And I just want to reach out to Tammy, Jason's wife, and wish you a very, very happy birthday. Wow. And 15 years together, Jason and Tammy. That's beautiful. Jason also mentioned something really, really important. Creating real wealth starts with kindness, not focusing on money as money is just a tool. This is really important to understand. We are all here to learn from each other. Thank you to everyone who shares their experiences in the comments. Very beautiful, Jason. And the concept is money is absolutely a tool and it's unlimited. You can never have enough money. So if you're focusing on a certain goal with money, you'll just double it and double it and double it and double it. Every time you attain a goal, you'll just double the next goal. It's just limitless. It's empty. But of course, money is incredibly important and that is our stock in trade. Many crypto communities put money right at the top of the pyramid and say this is the only thing that you should be focusing on. In truth, when you've been in financial markets for many, many years, you know that money comes as a result of good fundamentals. Money is an output and never an input. What Jason said is really, really important. It starts with kindness and kindness is the basis of positive excellence. Let's have a look at some more top cryptos. We can see Tron just starting to edge up, looking quite interesting. We can see SHIB not performing like Doge. Doge is bolting up. SHIB is just going back a bit. And there's huge volumes on SHIB for trading. You can trade in and out of SHIB with a lot of money and you'll get it filled in one level. It's quite incredible, actually. AVAX just retracing at the moment. Matic is retracing. Why are they retracing? Even though they're quite strong, Uni's not too bad. It's retracing, but it's got a lot of strength in there. What this pattern recognition is all about is to understand how Bitcoin's gravitational pull will pull on the alts. 
have a look at Litecoin doing really really quite well FTT also doing quite well as Bitcoin comes down what happens to the alts please let me know in the comments this is really really important to discuss Chainlink selling off at the moment just being pulled down by Bitcoin's gravity and Marco so good to see you back my friend Marco said my personal thanks also to every single member of the CTKS family for the gems left on the comments area reading every single day your comments and your thought makes me a better person oh Marco that's beautiful Sanjeev also shared something really important when people see price going down they think it's going to zero and when it goes price goes up they think it's going to the moon it's going to all-time highs this is not the case as shown in the master class and it actually fuels panic many times you'll see things sell down really dramatically that's what Sanjeev is talking about going to zero that's a going to zero move and this is exactly why we must control our emotional state or we'll get actually hooked up with the herd and the herd is generally wrong and Jay I've been bore sogging with sand and today was just awesome well done Jay that's fantastic so far this weekend I've been watching the new LV lessons on bore sogging and revisiting the masterclass content just immersing myself in the CTKS education and it feels so empowering well done Jay Austin was also bore sogging very very well I saw your trade Austin that's just awesome and Austin was bore sogging on his honeymoon still working on your honeymoon Austin <laughs> Austin said so appreciative of the CTKS community everyone is just kind and caring and will back you up on an alt or give you a different perspective on something you may have missed we have a really really kind community I refer to it as a globally extended family and it is and it's just like the family that you always wanted if you didn't have a functional family it's very very functional here Thomas had a really really good quote that I wanted to share with you the Borsog methodology once you understand the impact of constant marginal gains in opportunities resetting daily you're going to wish that a traders market will never end it's incredible what you can do by stacking percentages and I had some really really interesting conversations with people they were talking about different tax laws in different countries what you can do if you're from a personal perspective and you're getting hit with tax you can actually register a company and you can it just becomes trading stock because that's what you're actually doing and you can get deductions for that I would suggest of course that you reach out and talk to a qualified accountant in your particular country but that can be a way of actually separating what you do from your personal taxes I hope that answers the community question on that let's have a look at the greatest gainers over the past 24 hours doge is up in front 8.6 percent ape 3.1 percent up ethereum classic about 0.8 percent up carver 0.6 percent up and then we're getting into basically stable coins what about the greatest percent losers just in the last 24 hours gala taking out the pole position at 12.34 percent oh one two three four rune down 11.23 percent egld down 10.7 theta down about 9.6 Nexo 9.5% down, Nia 9.4% down, Axie about 9.4, and Storage about 9.1% down. I'd like to thank Dinesh for his very kind sharing as well. When we talked about what is resistance, to Dinesh, resistance means I'm going to take profit and I'm not going to pay any more than this price. It's really, really good, Dinesh. It's really great to think about resistance in that way. And you can think about support in the opposite way I am prepared to buy here and it's pretty good that's a great way of thinking about it because it's absolutely correct I thought something that would be really good to discuss do you see the world as a kind place or the world as an unkind and hostile place and how do you think that colors your view on life 
and of course we're all about trading so how do how does that worldview color how you go after opportunities and how you deal with losses and setbacks and where you've made people have made the switch between the red and the green side how did you actually do that i think that would be really really helpful to a lot of people and it's important to understand that in zone one and zone two it's all the red path zone three and zone four is the green path and it takes a lot of time and experience to get into the green path if you're in the red path at the moment don't feel bad at all about that it's a path we all walk I walked it at one stage just like everybody else did. But when you're in the market for many, many years, you just go by default to the green path because you have to. If you haven't had an opportunity to go and check out the Borsog Trader group that I've just recently created, please go and have a look at that. I just share trades that I do. And this particular one was making 10% as Bitcoin literally melted down. And this one I just released yesterday was 22% profit in under one day as Bitcoin was selling off. I think you'll find them really, really helpful. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'll be bringing out lots of these trades. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers and to the CTKS ambassadors for assisting masterclass students. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and for being part of our global KS family. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the tax software I use, and also links to the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. Please seek out an ambassador from those links to get 80% off, and you can always directly message me on Twitter at any time. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.